Lesson 5, Square Roots of Complex Numbers, number 1. We have to find all solutions to z equals the square root of i. Now what I'll do here, I'll square both sides of this, so I get z squared is equal to i. Now let z equal a plus i b, and then square both sides of this, z squared equals a plus ib all squared which gives a squared plus 2abi now we square this one we get minus b squared because i squared is minus 1 remember and that gives me a squared minus b squared plus 2abi. Now z squared equals i, so a squared minus b squared plus 2abi must equal i. Now the real part of this one doesn't exist, so a squared minus b squared must equal 0, we'll call it equation 1, and 2ab must be equal to 1. 2ab, 1. Now in 1, we have that a squared equals b squared. So a equals plus or minus b. So we'll take the first one, that a equal b, and put that into the second one. And we get that 2b squared equals 1, b squared equals a half, and b equals plus or minus 1 on root 2, or on rationalizing, plus or minus root 2 on 2. But a equals b, so when b equals root 2 on 2, a will also equal root 2 on 2, and when b equals minus root 2 on 2, a will equal minus root 2 on 2. Therefore, z will equal root 2 on 2 plus i root 2 on 2, or z will equal minus root 2 on 2 minus i root 2 on 2. And you notice these are not a conjugacy of each other because there's a, there's a sign change here. 